Greetings YouTubers. How's everybody doing out there in YouTube land? I hope you are doing really good. Today I finally went and picked up the old rear heater core that goes in the back side of this expedition. It sits in behind the uh, driver's side. We have to take some panels off here and some trim pieces to get in there and do that. Should be a lot easier than the front heater core, which we'll talk about here in a second. Now here is a look at it. Paid $60 for it at a $5 coupon off and it was only a uh, total price i think it was like 58 dollars and something so there it is and it's a little bit smaller than the front and we'll set this down there is the rear one and here is the front and you can see it's also a little bit different now this front one here on a lot of these expeditions the uh, ford tauruses they end up getting plugged up they get rusty on the inside and you can only flush them so many times before they just uh, don't put out any more heat so you can see they are a little bit different and uh, this rear one here shouldn't take too long to put in because uh, it is nothing like the front. The dash, I had to completely rip it apart in order to put that front heater core in. And let me add, it is working great. It is very hot up there. I have full heat and it's been a, a, a fun thing to drive now since I've got heat. Now here is the rear one and like I said, we'll go ahead and start sticking that in there. Shouldn't be too bad of a job. So let's go ahead and get this job started before Mother Nature changes her mind and uh, doesn't be uh, too kind to me here in a little bit so um, let's get to it all right now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and start popping off from this trim all right so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pop this piece of trim off right here as we go along here we'll need some uh, specific tools and we'll just talk about them as we go in here it's nice to have a pair of pliers to take these anchor pins off they're just big old screws that uh, kind of anchor to the, the side of the frame of the car and now the top one, put this one off the side. And now we have to go ahead and pull the seat belt anchor off here, the top of it. So we'll pop this cover off. And this is a T on this guy here. We're gonna use uh, one of these little stars. Uh, I think you can see that there. Uh, this is gonna be a T50. So we'll take this one off here. Because we gotta take this panel off right here, this cover. And this is kinda gonna be in our way. So we wanna take this off. And out it comes and there it is and we'll just kind of put this off the side and now we can go ahead and pop this panel off here cover and this will just give us a lot more room here to work with uh, we'll go ahead and pull this off here and now we'll have to take this nut off on that so this is going to be holding our panel piece here on that we need to take off just to give us a lot more room so off the nut comes and we'll pull this off to lay this down on the side on my model it's always a good idea to go ahead and pull your uh, panel here off pull that out there and that way this whole piece uh, trim will come out directly below that we have another piece here we have to take off this is a uh, T let's verify this real quick this is a T50 we have to go ahead and take the bottom of the seat belt anchor off down here on the bottom comes and we'll lay this off to the side and now we're ready to go ahead and pull this piece of trim that you see right here off and this is the trim piece that sits behind the passenger seat we'll just take a screwdriver and simply just pry up on it and it'll come right up And it's always good to put the seats down and we'll pull this out of the way now we can go ahead and pull this plastic piece off it has clips on it just kind of pull it off like that put that off the side and as you can see as the pan down here uh, that piece there kind of gets in the way of the piece here that we have to take off let's go ahead and pull this panel off pull it back like this you may have to lift up on it it's a pretty big piece and on the bottom here, if I pan down, on some of these, there's a little plastic tab. Let me pull this off. That's hidden over the carpet. And sometimes you have to get down here and make sure you get that off. And uh, it is going to be right there where my finger is. So a lot of times that will uh, get you hung up. So just get a screwdriver and pop it off. And now we can go ahead and pull this out. Just kind of push it out of the way for now or lay it down. 
And now we have full excess into our heater core, which sits uh, right here. Now, all we really have to do at this point is go ahead and hook some of these wires. And we have a bunch of little screws here all the way around this housing that we have to take out. Now, at this point, the best thing for you to do with all these wires and stuff is just go ahead and hook them. Pull them out of the little piggy tail uh, latches there, like you see on the top. Pull that off like that and just dis disconnect everything. And if you have to, this here is the rear blower uh, real estate. Just pull it out. It's made to pull right out. And we'll just kind of put this wiring harness off to the back, off the side like that. And you can kind of see it uh, sitting right there. And now we're ready to just go ahead and start taking off this uh, piece here. So now we've got the vehicle running, and before we take this heater core out, I thought it'd be interesting to see what the temperature was. Now this side is the inlet side. Let's get the temperature of that one. That's 125 degrees, 20, 126 degrees. This bottom one is not that warm. Look at, we only get about 112 degrees on the temperature. So there's a big difference there. And that's why we're gonna go ahead and replace this heater core. Also, I can put my hand on this hose here that goes in. It's really, really hot. The one coming out, it's just kind of lukewarm. Right now, so our next adventure is we have to take all these little screws out you see all the way around this panel here and get this cover off. And all these are eight millimeters, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking these off. And when I get all these off here, and we should have access into the heater core. Okay, so there's our panel. We got it off and everything, and there's the blower motor. And uh, check it while you're in there. It's 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 easy to to replace. And when you pull this uh, cover off, just be aware that you will have your blend doors and stuff here. You'll have to uh, work with those, but those are easy to put back in. You, so there's our heater core, and uh, all we have to do is disconnect these two clips on the bottom there and replace it with the new one. All right, let's go ahead and take these clips off. Now, you'll probably lose a little antifreeze, so don't get too worried about it. There won't be that much coming out. Pop these hoses off a little bit there. And now, um, before you take these hoses all the way up, go to your, raise your, in, your, ra raise your hood and release the pressure off of your radiator cap in case your engine is still a little bit warm. That'll help uh, depressurize it in case there's a little bit of pressure on it. All right, let's go ahead and pull this off. I went to the radiator and released the uh, cap on the radiator. And there was a little bit of pressure on it. And there, that's off. And here is the bottom one. Get it off. And there it is. And there is the heater core that gave me all the grief. And you can see inside those tubes there. See how rusty that is? This thing is definitely plugged up. So now all we gotta do is put the uh, new one back in and reverse the order. So this wasn't too bad of a job if you wanna compare it to the front heater core where you have to tear out the entire dash. And by the way, I don't know if you can see that, but look at some of the stuff that's come out of that heater core. Pretty nasty, so. Yeah, he was plugged up. I even tried to blow through this end and you can't even blow through it, it's all plugged up. Okay. All right, so I got my uh, insulation tape on there they give you, by the way. And now I'll go ahead and slide this down in here, like this. Stick that in there like that. And we are in like Flynn, my friend. All right, so the heater core now is in. You see I got the clamps on there and it's sitting in there like it should. And you got this blend door here, so don't forget that. Make sure you get that in there kind of straight. And you got the second one that kind of sits in the housing right here. It sometimes will pop off, but just pop it back on and you can set this whole panel back on. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pull this on. I'm not going to show you every step. Obviously, if you take it apart, you can put it together. And once I get it back together, we'll start it up and check the heat and see how it goes. Okay, now I got the cover setting back on here. Now it's a little tedious because you got this one blend door that you have to fish in here. Put your hand down behind there. This one's not too bad, but when you start this on, start this piece over here up into this uh, vent. Get that up under there first and kind of leave this hang back a little bit. 
Now you can stick your hand down in here and put that blend door on and when you get it on you can see right here where the motor goes. It should be okay right there and you shouldn't have any problems. Other than that all I got to do now is go ahead and put all my little screws back in and we can wrap this video up. All right there we go. I got it all back together and it's uh, working pretty good. Now that's for the heck of it. Let's go ahead and check those uh, temperatures of the inlet and outlet heater hoses and see what we got. All right, we just started the vehicle up. Let's see what we got there. We got 114 on that one, and we got 104 there, so 104, 105. So it's starting to warm up pretty nicely. And if I put my hand there, that hose is really hot. Ooh. And this one here is pretty hot too. And we got good heat coming out, so this should take care of our heater problem in the back. So with all that being done, all we have to do now is put our panel back on, start putting our pieces back on that we took off, and this job will be done. It's, it's all done just in the nick of time as the rain starts to pour down. I got all my panels back on, and I couldn't be happier. Check this out, 128 degrees of heat coming out of that vent with my probe. Before, I was lucky to get maybe 90, 95 degrees, and I can tell you what, just by putting my hand up here, there's just a tremendous difference. So that heater core really helped, and there is what's left of the two. Anyway, it's all done. That is how you do your heater core on your expedition, and this process will probably be the same for the uh, explorers, especially the, uh, the Eddie Bowers and the other explorers that have the heater cores in the back. So that's it, guys. That's the end of the video. It's getting cold out here. I am going to enjoy my heat as the rain and snow heads our way. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And to my next video, hey, I'll catch you guys later.